Natasha Phoenix and welcome to Dubai this week. Today we are at a newly opened restaurant, Vaga, situated in Blue Water Island. We will be having a sneak peek inside the kitchen and speaking to the head chef himself. Follow me. Executive Chef Satyon, how are you doing? Very good, Sasha. Yourself? Thank you. I'm for very well. Thank you for asking too. So, we are surrounded by beautiful food. Uh, tell me a bit about the food that you have served in your restaurant. Uh, well, actually, what are we trying to do in Vaga to upskill the Arabic uh, cuisine with the traditional taste and flavor from uh, the Middle East and Armenia? So we're combining a two culture basically, which uh, inspire me to do it in an upscale, upscale level. Your flavors, I, I can tell on the table, everything looks different um, from the meat right down to the vegetarian dishes. What inspired your flavors? Uh, there was one story actually, one chef told me uh, that I used to work with him that uh, in the Arabic cuisine it's rich of flavor but it's not beauty yet like the beautiful woman who doesn't use, who doesn't know how to use uh, and uh, makeup yes. so basically <laughs> uh, it stayed that in my mind very deeply that was like 12 years ago <laughs> and it was like for me no this is a challenge I'm gonna make it like the beauty women who know how to use a makeup nice. actually so this is what inspired me and uh, this is where I see vibe uh, I mean, on a next level. Yeah. So the Arabic cuisine to become on a next level. So this is what we have planned on Vaga. I like that. Vaga is like a beautiful woman. Yes. Who knows how to wear her makeup. Yes. Lovely. And where did the name Vaga come from? What's the meaning? Is there a meaning behind it? Yes, definitely. Vaga name, it came from uh, the time traveler, Vagabond. Okay. So nice. the, the time traveler who uh, who's traveling through the time and and through the cultures was collecting the, the flavors, the dishes, the recipes. So I feel that that's something touched me personally because this is what I have done. Like I, I travel few countries around the world and uh, come based on Dubai. So it, it's kind of, I feel that it's me. Yeah. Vaga, yeah. Okay, so you're the traveler. <laughs> yes. Bringing different spices, Bringing different spices to Dubai. To, exactly. I love that. Okay. And um, is there anything that you can tell the people who are watching, our followers, what's happening in the future of Vaga? Is there anything coming up? Well, definitely, Vaga, there is uh, planning definitely to expand. Yes. Uh, it's not just uh, a restaurant will be based in the way. We have a plan to expand. Uh, I will not be specified with the names, but to okay. the most uh, busiest city in the world. To, okay. Uh, to, uh, how to say it, to show, like, uh, to prove or to show, the, whatever you can call it, yeah. that the Arabic cuisine can really be a uh, competitor with the gastronomy cuisines in, all around the world. So you're the chef to come and visit. You have the flavors here. Yes. And you have the traditional but unconventional style going yes. on in Vaga restaurant. Yeah. Well, you heard it here first, guys. We are about to have a taste of all the delicious food that you can see on the table. It's even getting me tongue-tied looking at all of this food. So, I mean, let's just dig straight into it. may be new but you saw the dishes for yourself so come and check it out i'm sasha phoenix dubai this week